Hello and welcome to the Your CAD Capture series. This video demonstrates how to edit multiple object properties in the Your CAD Capture project. We currently have a multi sheet or CAD capture schematic open. If you wanted to edit the properties on these three parts, we would create a selected set and then right click and use the Edit Properties command to bring all three of these parts up in the property editor. You can assign a class property to all three of these parts if I wanted, or perhaps use the room property to control where these three parts get placed over in Allegro PCB Designer. Now, what if these parts or objects we want to edit are not on the same page, and we cannot create a selected set? We can use the multi-sheet object editing without creating the selection set, for example, to edit all the title blocks in the design and update the title blocks revision. So there's a title block on every one of these seven pages. Let me go ahead and find all the title blocks. And in the find results window, you can see we have the seven title blocks located. Now, we can double click on each of these entries, which will take us to each of the title blocks. And there's the rev code that we want to update, so double click on that and change it to the letter B. Then you would go to the next title block and do the same thing. So, to avoid editing one by one, you need to create a selected set here in the Find Results window, click and shift click, and then we would right click and select the Edit Properties command. That will bring up this utility called the Browse Spreadsheet. Now we can scroll over to where the rev code. You can change this to B, and instead of going to each one of these individual lines, I now go down and copy that value and then click on the column header and click the paste button that sets the rev code to be for all of the title blocks in the design right now. Click OK, and all the seven title blocks are updated with one click. This next example will show you how to edit the off-page connector using the Browse Spreadsheet option. There are two sets of off-page connectors. We need to modify these off-page connectors. And to do that, we're going to type in lamp asterisk and look for off-page connectors. And the reason we're searching for these five signals is we need to change the net names on these nets from lamp 1 to RA lamp 1 through RA lamp 5. So let's go ahead and click the find button here. And once we click the find button, we get a find results window showing the off-page connectors that match our find what field. We will create a selected set and then right click and select the Edit Properties command. This brings up the Browse Spreadsheet and allows us to work with this group of signals all at once. This is the name field that we're interested in, and this is where we can insert that RA character to turn all of these signal names into RA lamp. So let's go ahead and insert the character that we need. Click OK. If we look at our schematic, we can see our net names have changed. And again, these two groups of signals could be on different design pages. And we've just shown you how to use the Browse Spreadsheet to interact with these nets and modify them all at once. That's all the time we have now for this video. Thanks for watching.